Hello, everybody. I'm proud to be presenting on behalf of team number eight. When we started the hackathon, we wanted to solve communication. We wanted to solve communication at the individual level, but also in the collaborative level. But what's the problem? The problem is, how do you work best with other people? What is the solution? Not only what is the solution, what is the solution? Ladies and gentlemen, we present Honeycomb. Honeycomb is a device that lets you work better in your work environment. It's a device that also helps you work better in your individual environment. Honeycomb is a small device. What it does is you put it on your table. You let other people know what you're doing and how you're doing it. You communicate it at another level. What's happening right now in an open office? Open offices are great because they're, they help companies have more creativity. You're able to mix engineering with the design, with the planning, because that's necessary. Because you can't have a company in silos. It doesn't work. We're living in a new time where you need people to mix together. But the reality is that that is great for creativity. It sucks for productivity, period. Companies like Google are able to put people really tightly together in a little scrum team, but they have this beautiful campus where they can go to quiet places to get work done. What if you're a startup? What if you work in a co-working space? What are you going to do? How are you going to communicate better to your teammates that right now I'm flowing, I'm working so well, it's not the best time, or now's the perfect time? Let's do a demo. We built this, ladies and gentlemen. We built three working prototypes. We made over six types of cases. We, we worked so hard. And we're so proud to present, I'm going to use the microphone. <laughs> I'm really loud. <laughs> this is it. You put honeycomb in your desk, and it's, it's a good time. It's green. But what if I want to practice the Pomodoro technique, and I want to try to focus on a specific task for 20 minutes or an hour, or whatever? Flip honeycomb over. <clears throat> what honeycomb is going to do, it's, it's going to gradually change color to communicate to other people the status of what you're doing. And it does it in a non-intrusive way. It'll change from red to orange to yellow to white. It'll let you give you a heads up to let other people work together. I'm running out of time, but I really want to show the, what we came out of this weekend. Not only can you use the honeycomb to communicate with your team what you're doing, but you can also quantify how well you're working together. <coughs> you can take two honeycombs and you can track when you're meeting with somebody. You can bring it into the tangible world. You can acknowledge. If we have a meeting and we want to track it, we want to acknowledge it, you put two honeycombs together at when it works. Yeah, one upside down. It's tracked. You don't have to put it in an app, in a software, you don't have to click a button, you don't have to put a password. It's a tangible way to acknowledge that we've met, that we're working together, and that data layer is incredibly interesting. My presentation is over, but I really have to give credit to my team. Nothing would have been possible without these guys. I mean, we have guys from Bulgaria, from Shanghai, from the US, from Italy, and from Dublin. It would have not been possible without all those guys. And we have a website. <laughs> so, are you selling, who are you actually selling this to? The individuals, the companies? It's me. <laughs> I mean, my motiv main motivation was myself. But how I see is, this is highly relevant to enterprise, to bigger companies. Because, I mean, 
I think that you need to reduce the friction that you have when you're scaling up a company. I mean, I think that this is relevant for small teams and big teams. So if you want to use it as an individual productivity tool and you want to use this as Starbucks, you can technically do that. But I see, really see the data and the information being really valuable when you scale it up. So I say the best customer is enterprise. Big companies that want to have more information and want to be able to empower their users to know how they work better and how they can be more productive. Oh, yeah, these are connected devices. I don't think you mentioned that. <laughs> That's right. The data is actually. Uh, quick question: is it, What's the cost? What you, where are you at? Well, I think you would answer the this question better than I could. I mean, we we were able to talk to uh, what was the lab guys that we talked to for the old hurdle labs. Yeah. So we have an idea of the cost for the case. If we do ten thousand, a thousand, the cost for the case is not that much. I would not disclose right now, but and also, <laughs> I mean, we have an amazing Nordic Sips, uh component, so they're going to give us volume pricing, of course. Uh, the battery would have to decide because we're using like a battery watch. We have to make that better, but it wouldn't be that much. But the better question is, what is your time worth to you? How much is your productivity important to your company? I think that's a better question. <laughs> Great team.